Comp, thank you so much for this wonderful semester in these difficult times. Now, to help you with your assignment, I will show you how to recreate the famous sequence from Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon in seven different softs. And so, hopefully you might like some of the plugins I'll be showcasing here. All right, so let's start from Synthi 5 by Arturia. This is the emulation of the uh, EMS Synthi AKS that was used by Pink Floyd on the record. So Gilmore picked this oscillator 2 square wave and he connected it to um, the keyboard and the sequencer. Now, um, Waters walks into the studio and he's like, how about something like this? And then Gilmore speeds it up and here we have the, the sequence. Now he takes this oscillator and goes through the filter Um, and then he he takes the noise generator and sends it to the ring mod. So let's try that. Noise goes to ring mod and he multiplies it by the sequencer voltage. So here we have ring mod. Let's send it to the output two. And finally, um, he would um, most likely send oscillator 3 triangle to uh, act as, a, uh, as an LFO on that filter. So now you can picture uh, Gilmore's right hand was probably over here, maybe joystick, but probably just frequency knob, and his left hand would be on this one. And then he would be doing it for three minutes um, to get a one take. It was later used and layered with other sounds. All right, so let's break it down. We're starting from single oscillator, um, square wave, we are grabbing a sequencer, um, let's tune it down, and let's speed it up. Now, low pass filter, high resonance. And here we go. Now the second part is more interesting, which is uh, the hi-hat. So what they did is they took that sequencer voltage that goes normally to an oscillator and they ring mod it. So ring modulation is just multiplication. We obviously have proper ring modulator in Bitwig, but I'm going to use just a multiplication to prove my point. Now we're multiplying, what are we multiplying? We're multiplying um, that voltage by noise generator. And here's the big disappointment. We don't get that characteristic hi-hat from Pink Floyd's record. Why? Well, because, think about it, this ring modulation, uh, th this ring mod was uh, meant for audio rate signals. That means that it was not DC coupled. That means that we have effectively a DC removal on the input. And so we can simulate that by adding a high-pass filter here. 
right? So now let me let me just show it to you visually so you understand what's going on. So we have um, we have the sequence over here, and we let's amplify it a little bit. So this is our voltage. Now, if we go through high pass filter, uh, where's the oscillator? Um, if we do this, notice what we get on the other end. We have those clicks, and this is what we want to send to the ring mod. So let's try this and listen carefully. So as you can see, the high pass, we're going all the way down to 20 hertz. So that original high pass was there just to remove DC offset. Now, this is very interesting because now we can re we realize that hi-hat and melody were tied together. You can't change one without changing the other. So let me show you. original sequence in order to get the hi-hat. And finally, um, let's add LFO to this low pass. CV rack. Let's start from square wave VCO. Um, let's uh, tune it down. Uh, this time we might actually start from um, 82 hertz because that's the first note of our sequence. Then we need a sequencer. Now, because the sequencer has a huge range, I like to scale it to 10%, so we don't have to be so careful with those knobs. And because I'm lazy, I'm going to go through a quantizer. Now we need to go through a VCF. So let's put it here. All right, um, and the hi hat is we, as you remember, we need actually also need a VCF. Um, so we're going through this time high pass filter and we need to find a ring modulator um, you can use whatever you want but I think this one might be the simplest by ML um, Bulg Audio also has a nice simple one now we also need a noise generator use this one. Uh, let's grab white noise and let's hear this. It 
it's not perfect, but it's a different different filter than last time. Alright, and uh, the only missing part now is LFO. I will probably put it somewhere here, so we, we want this to go here. Alright, Serum, aka EDM's King Joffrey. Um, I have a one clip here, one long note, uh, and we're, we'll try to sequence everything from within Serum. So we are starting from basic shapes, square wave, and then we're connecting LFO to this pitch input. Um, we want this to be unipolar. And let's scale it until we hear octave. And by the way, this is a shift trick, so hold shift while you're doing this. Um, and now we can sequence this. So let's go through a filter. Now, because we don't have a ring mod here and we can't connect sequencers to ring mods, um, even if we, if we had one, uh, we have to cheat up a bit. So let's take this noise. And let's um, use this LFO to shape it a bit. And finally, we need to take LFO 3 to wobble, to add a little bit of acid to this track. And here we go. All right, this is exciting stuff. Vital. Um, this synth came out last month, and it's basically a Serum 2.0. Um, I absolutely love it, and uh, the best part, uh, it's free. Yeah. So. You guys should just pause here, go and download it. Um, it's very similar to Serum, almost identical. So just like in Serum, we're starting from basic shapes. Then we are going to sequence this independent XY grid. I absolutely love that feature. Um, then we are trying to see where is our octave. Then we're sending it through the filter. Um, activating noise generator and LFO to we'll envelope it a bit and finally LFO 3 will be responsible for those little wobbles Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> okay, um, here we have a second synthesizer um, by Arturia. It's called Pigments. It's really wonderful. Um, I love Arturia, by the way, and uh, one of my students uh, last semester suggested that I should name my daughter Arturia. Now, I obviously didn't go that far. But nonetheless, um, wonderful collections, a lot of beautiful instruments there, and this this is one of them. Uh, it's a bit like Serum and um, Vital, uh, except with more colors and less drag and dropping, which means it's slightly slower to work with. However, there are some features that are really awesome, which is one of them is granular synthesis. It's wonderful. And the second one is a sequencer um, that we're going to use. So um, let's start from scratch. So we're starting from basic square wave. It's already routed through the filter. Now, um, since we have a sequencer, let's activate it and see what happens. And we need eight steps. keeping here. So we have a basic sequence. <clears throat> now it's time to organize our hi-hat, so let's activate engine number two. And we're going to take only noise. And this time we're going to, um, to go through envelopes. So this noise instead of LFO, we're going to use envelope one because the first one is already taken. Um, and and here we go. Now, notice that it's, there are no accents. So in order to do that, we need to go through side chain and velocity coming from the sequencer. Right. And finally we can get that resonance going. And by the way, we also have to route noise separately through filter two. And finally, we are going to take LFO, maybe LFO one. Um, free running, and we're going to add a bit of wobbles. And what is amazing about the synth, uh, the sequencer, is it can really go crazy with the sequencer. show you this cute little plugin called Odin 2. It's free, but um, just because it's free doesn't mean uh, it's not awesome. I uh, absolutely love it. A lot of character. You have a lot of oscillators, including chiptune. You have a lot of filters, distortions. So it's basically like a diva, but it has its own character. You should really try it. And we have the arpeggiator. So let's start from um, square wave going through the filter and let's activate the arpeggiator eight steps one octave let's increase gate 
And now we can set up our sequence. Now filters, that's the fun part of the synth, that you can, um, you can choose your own filters. This should be probably um, the closest to the original AKS, but also diode ladder filter. Oof. Okay, and now uh, we are ready to um, to set up our the second part, which is um, noise oscillator. And this noise oscillator, uh, we are going to control it from um, mod envelope, which is the second envelope here. Um, look at this, we have a traditional modulation matrix, so you have to use this one. Okay, mod envelope, um, oscillator three, volume, and we also need accents. So we're going to scale it by um, arpe arpeggiator second row or first row, which is over here. So we have a sequence and then finally I think we need, um, we obviously need LFO to add to that filter. And frequency. And finally for fun, what you can also do is you can use the, that XY pad here. So we're going to scale this by, let's say, X. So I can move horizontally. And if I want to have um, vertical control over filter, I can also do that. And finally, here I have a little challenge for you guys, just for fun. Um, if you're interested, uh, here's the puzzle to solve. I want you to try to recreate that Pink Floyd sequence using only audio plugins. Yeah, so no VSTI is allowed, no instrument tracks, no MIDI, no synths, just uh, audio plugins. And to make it even more interesting, you are allowed to use only one type of audio plugin. So once you choose the plugin, you have to stick with that one plugin. All right, so pause here if you're interested and come back later to see. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Now, since you're still here, I'm, um, I'm going to show you how I would approach this, um, this puzzle. <clears throat> so I'm picking only one plugin and I'm choosing auto filter. Now I know you probably already start guessing that I'm going to try to use it as an oscillator. Now, unfortunately, um, plugins, audio plugins normally don't self oscillate. Um, and even this OSR and OSR, by the way, it's a uh, state, vari a state variable uh, circuits, which should be very good as an oscillator, but it's on purpose. Like, audio plugins should not self oscillate. So we need to help it a little bit. We need to kick start with feeding a little bit of noise from a uh, built in microphone. And now notice that now it keeps self oscillating. There's no noise coming into this filter anymore. <clears throat> Once it starts, it keeps oscillating. So now I have a, I have a sine wave, right? 
Well, the problem is that Pink Floyd used square waves, so how do we do that? And remember, I can only use one plugin type. So I have to use this filter again if I want to achieve that. Well, with different filter types, I actually have, I have a drive here, right? So let's do it twice. And we have something that resembles square wave. And finally, I'll be able to control it with another auto filter. Um, the problem is we also need to find a way to control it. And since I did not uh, prevent myself uh, from using automation, I should be able to use um, automation to enter specific notes here. So uh, the first note over here should be 82 hertz. More or less. Um, let's change the grid. Now the second one is 90, 98. Then we have 110. And then now we can grab that automation and here we have a sequence since we have a filter here um, and if we want to add a little bit of wobble Wow, 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 wow,